Hello. I already made the lure. I already went fishing with it. This is uh, 3D printed. I gotta say, I didn't design this. I downloaded the file for this off of uh, Thingiverse. The guy that I, that I downloaded the file from. I can't look this up. Upscale Lure. That's the guy that designed this. But yeah, I printed this, painted it, and put a clear coat on it. But it worked out pretty good. Yeah, let's uh, let's make this. So I just took the eyelets out to clean that up, but I'm actually gonna just glue them in right now. So I have something to hold on to while I'm painting this. And while these were printing, when the cavity in here got big enough, I just dropped a little BB in there. So, in both of them. So that one rattles, and that one rattles. Hopefully when it's swimming through the water, it'll have enough to rattle, but we'll see. So this is just straight yellow. I'm going to be painting a little bit of yellow in there and then I'm going to do olive green mixed in there. And this box is just to catch overspray. So I'm looking at this picture and I think if I just stick with the olive green for the top and then the little stripes that come down, they're not black, they're like a darker green. I'll do three stripes on the front and three stripes on the back or more. I'll do four stripes on the front and four on the back because there's eight stripes on that picture I'm looking at. I got the mesh on the window screen for the scales. I'm going to do black and I'm just going to shoot it like that and do my best not to get the very bottom though. Let's see how this turned out. Kind of did okay. You can see all the layer lines and where the 3D printer stopped and where I scraped it clean with the razor blade. But you now it's, it's there, I can see it. Dang it, I got the tail fin a little bit. Back turned out a little bit better. So smallmouth have red eyes. I think these ones right here will be good. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a more of a straight line on the bottom here where my finger is. I'm trying to get that towards the bottom. I'm going to drop a tiny bit of glue on there. Just barely anything.
Got the hook hangers, or hook hangers glued in, line ties tied in, the uh, eyelets for the joint, they just slide in there, and then there's a pin that drops in there. Epoxy is mixed. Sinking? Oh. No way. It works. That's awesome. Oh, heck yeah. Bigger hooks, huh? Yeah, I got the, got bigger hooks on it and it is swimming now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a roll and it swims. Works pretty good. No way. Oh yeah, he's still on. You got this one? Well, the one I caught, it hit it, but it missed it, then it came back again. Oh, really? Sweet. Caught a bass on a bass. Oh, shoot. This guy's. There we go. There we go. Bass like bass. Sweet. Awesome. Really hope I was recording. Oh yeah, I'm recording. Okay. Lights on. That's good.
got one. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Quit getting wrapped up. Gosh dang it. Oh, knock it off. <laughs> Scared me. You're getting wrapped up even more, dude. Stop. Too many hooks on that lure. <laughs> There. Oh my gosh. I got just one hook down there. There. Hey, now the end of the video. All right, I'm back. Actually, I, I didn't really go anywhere. I'm still sitting in the same spot. 3D printed fishing lure held up pretty good. It's got scratches all over it. Eyelets didn't try to come out or anything. If I didn't put a clear coat on it, probably would have broke off, but it's still all in one piece, which is pretty sweet. Join is still good. Now that I caught two fish on this, I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hang it up or something. There's that. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this, uh, what looks like a perch, I guess, but it's supposed to be a small mouth. Bye. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, but it's got a roll and it swims. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh!